So it's uh, mid-August and we took the opportunity to stay uh, in a tiny house last night, which is the first time, first time we've ever done that. completely off-grid composting loo no uh, heating inside certainly not a fireplace um, but there is a little heater but obviously being off-grid you can't run that for very long this place is about uh, 40 minutes from our little farm Uh, <clears throat> it's a bit higher up elevation wise uh, and so it's it's wetter Let's see some kangaroos down there Yes, it's, uh, it's wetter and hence the mist and be colder too. This mist will burn off pretty soon, I think. It's about, it's just about 8.30 in the morning. Um, on the tiny house itself, in terms of how comfortable it was, um, I'm going to reserve judgment for a minute. Uh, because my initial impressions weren't as positive as I had perhaps hoped. It wasn't uncomfortable, but I'm not sure how practical it really is. And actually, I'm not sure that it's really any better than the caravan in some respects. So, we'll see, we're staying another night. So it's a very small, tiny house. Um, obviously they're all small, but um, this one is more petite than other ones we have seen. And we noticed this morning that condensation is probably a bit of an issue with it um, because everything was kind of a bit clammy and uh, the window frames were actually wet almost to the point of dripping. Um, a lot of condensation on the windows, etc. I know that's a bit of an issue with tiny houses. But it wasn't terrible. In fact, it was good. I would say it was good. I'm just not happy to say it was great yet. It's definitely a beautiful property. It's quite big. Um, not sure how big, but 100 acres or more, just in the section that we're in. Mark and I last night walked down over that over that uh, hill there. And there's a clearing on the other side. We saw a wombat just outside its burrow.
So later on I'll take you for a walk over that way. So here we are in the tiny house. <clears throat> That's very messy. Uh, the way we've sort of got it at the moment. But one thing that you can see is that it's so small that um, it becomes messy very quickly just by putting a few bags about the place. Uh, sort of there, there is clutter and there is mess. So I guess that's just a function of tiny house living uh, drawers under the sofa here <clears throat> drawers all the way little table here quite comfortable seating huge big window which uh, looks down into that woodland that I just showed which is very nice very very steep ladder up to the uh to the bed big uh, it, it may even be a king bed i don't know a uh, very small little kitchenette uh, no oven no microwave which um, is interesting there is a little fridge Composting loo and a shower. And <clears throat> they, um, it appears as though they buy uh, water in because there's no, there is a tank, uh, but there's no runoff from the roof of this tiny house into the tank, so they must. Uh, must buy water. One thing I don't like is you have to stand on the kitchen bench, which becomes in effect one of the uh, one of the steps up to the bed. And that's the bed. So when we woke this morning, um, yeah, that that window was uh, all condensed, and the frame. Uh, had quite a lot of uh, moisture on it such that as soon as you touched it it became drippy um, although <clears throat> Mark did have a shower before bed last night and reading the notes of the tiny house this morning it did say open the window or open a window after uh, after a shower we didn't do that so maybe that's our fault we should we should have uh, opened some windows i've opened a window this morning to try and clear it out a bit it's very cold here so that's the other thing you and that, as i say there's no uh there's no wood heater in here there's a little electric heater but um i, I imagine that will drain the power quite quickly uh, particularly because it's overcast at the moment it's not uh solar panels not really generating anything of significance so that's okay i don't need to put the heating on but for myself if i was going to have a tiny house like this i think it would be a one of the the absolute essentials would be to have a little wood heater because um, even just standing here now in the floor the floor is freezing and it's it's cold in here i mean it's it's so cold that my nose is running and Uh, it's just just about 7 a.m. We've stayed for the second night in that little tiny house. And I have to say, it's not as comfortable as I uh, 
as I had hoped. Which is to say nothing uh, negative of that tiny house specifically. Um, I just, just not I'm sure about how practical they are as a concept. Uh, certainly as in the way that that one is configured. Um, it's just not, it's just not very comfortable and it's very cold and uh, yeah a lot of con condensation again. Uh, we ran out of gas uh, last night so there was there's no heating no hot water uh, which, yeah made it a bit uncomfortable get some coffee on That's pretty much the view you get from the tiny house from inside. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. <laughs>